Now that you've taken your time and read through this article three times, you should have a very good understanding of what the Black Plague was. So now it's time to go do these questions. So down at the bottom, oh, actually it's on the second page of your packet, um, I give you the word pestilence. Pestilence is a noun, a fatal epidemic disease. And you're going to have to go back up here where I specifically asked you to find an epidemic to make sure you understand how that fits in with the definition of pestilence. And I want you to go and identify and explain two details from the reading that support this statement. The Black Plague was a pestilence. So two separate paragraphs that have information in them that support how this was um, a fatal epidemic disease. By identifying, you can put the quote down or explain it in your own words, but explain, make sure that you tie your information back to this definition in some way to show how it was a pestilence. Make sure that you're writing in complete sentences as well. Then down here, the next question says, the Black Plague affected many different aspects of life in the Middle Ages. Explain in your own words, but use ideas from the article. So you're writing a complete sentence for each of these that shows how family life, the church, the labor force, the body, meaning a person's body, the economy and society were affected by the Black Plague. The next question says, the first section of the reading titled The Black Plague is written in present tense, but this happens hundreds of years ago. So when I was reading that, it sounded odd to me that it would be written as if it was happening right now. So why do you think the author wrote it that way? How does it affect you as you read? And then the last thing you have to do, whoops, I shouldn't say the last thing, the next thing you have to do is identify the one big cause that's uh, reflected in that article and identify any three effects. And you can go back to some of your answers in the other questions that you used. But I'll, again, all of these need to be written in complete sentences. Now the last thing you're going to do is look at the difference between effect and effect. They sound exactly the same, but they're spelled a little bit differently. Affect with an A means to have an effect on. It's a verb. It's an action to make a difference to. When we think of a verb, it's an action or something that you can do. You can affect someone else's life. You can have an effect on them. You can make a difference to them. Versus effect with an E, which is a noun. A change that is a result of an action or a cause is an effect. We think of cause and the effect, the thing that happens. When we check our nouns, we know that we can put a, an, or the in front of it. So I gave you some sentences down here, and I want you to circle whether it's being used as affect with an A in its verb form, or whether we want effect with an E, which is a noun. When you're done with this, you're going to turn your whole packet in to the substitute. Make sure your name is written up here. And then you can go into Google Classroom, and you will find an assignment called Genius Hour 2.0 and you'll start thinking about your next project that you're going to do for Genius Hour. Um, and there are some slides on there that you need to complete. Make sure you read the directions because there are some slides on there that you don't need to complete. Um, but the, uh, there is no set due date for that right now. Um, only work on that if you finish this close reading assignment. And again, if you didn't finish it, then this becomes homework.